Good day to everyone. I'm Mad Wantamad and welcome to another video here at Madolos Channel. For today's video, we are going to update you on the progress of our system here in Quezon City. So this system is almost a year and a half old. So this system was uh, first located at the ground floor and then the owner decided to relocate this system at the second floor of the roof or a rooftop or roof deck in their uh, property. So to start our walkthrough with the six groove system, let's start with the fish tank over here. So let's go with the fish tank over here. So in this fish tank, we have a uh, hundred red tilapia. So let's feed the hundred red tilapia. They are now approximately two months old. So they measure around uh, two to three inches. So let's zoom in on the uh, fish as they feed. So we provide them with dissolved oxygen through an air stone over here. So we have air stones over here. And we have an uh, air manifold over here on the side. So the air manifold uh, distributes water all throughout the system. We control the air by, by a valve. So the uh, air is provided by the compressor on the side. So let's look at the compressor. So the compressor is approximately 110, 100 liters per uh, minute. It provides uh, air all throughout the system, okay? So that's a piston type compressor. Now let's, uh, from the fish tank, we have a solid lifting outlet at the bottom. I don't know if you can zoom in, zoom in on the solid lifting outlet. So this is the solid lifting outlet over here. Then from the solid lifting outlet, it will exit our filter over here. So that's the exit of the fish tank. It exits our solid lifting outlet over here. So this system has couplings. So we used couplings to relocate the system from the old location. So let's remove the cover of our seven stage filtration. So from, from the fish tank, it goes to a radial part. So this is the radial filter. We have some fish trapped at the bottom, so we'll just put place them back on our fish tank. So the radial part of the filter has an inner uh, cone. The inner cone prevents the sludge from exiting and diverts it below where there's a conical bottom and then we have a drain on the other side. And then the sludge that did not settle will now go to the second stage, which is, which is the brush stage. So this is the brush part of the filter. We also have another stage, another brush stage over here. And then another uh, uh, fourth stage, which is another brush here. And then from the brush, it now goes to our MBBR. The media is still new. So when the media is old enough, like the brown media here, the media will bubble or simmer and self-clean. So the motion of uh, bumping each other knocks off the old bacteria and promotes new surface area for new stronger bacteria to convert the ammonia from the fish tank into nitrates which will be used in our plants so this is the exit we have a strainer over here let's now replace the cover of our filter so from the strainer it will now exit our floating raft over here so again we use the coupling to attach the old pipe to the new pipe so this is the floating raft so floating raft number one uh, from the filter it exits to floating raft number one so in floating raft number one we have pet chai so this is a pet chai seedling so the, re the roots are very clean and the leaves are nice and green then this is just floating on a styrofoam bed so there no, there's no soil here or we just use pumice and it's all uh, floating on water again we provide aeration to the roots by adding air so let's replace our styrofoam back so you have to be careful in lifting the styrofoam because if you lift this uh, vertically you you, you, you do take the risk of uh, breaking the board in half. So you have to slide it on the side to prevent the, the styrofoam board from breaking. So from floating raft number one, it now goes to floating raft number two. So let's go to floating raft number two over here. Then from floating raft number two, 
Here we have some romaine lettuce. So this is a romaine lettuce seedling. And some uh, Lola Rosa or Lola Bionda. Yeah. Those are the Lola Rosas on the other side, on the far side. And then it exits to floating raft number three over here. Also some pet chai. Then from fro floating raft number three, it exits to floating raft number four. And then from floating raft number four, it now exits to our last floating raft, floating raft number five, where the pump is located. So again, let's slide our raft. So this is a, our pump, a very small pump. The wattage is around uh, 60 watts. And it's very easy to maintain. This is a, almost a year and a half old, 24-7. It runs for 24-7. No, we don't unplug this. So it's very easy to maintain. You just make sure that the strainer has no dirt in it. Okay? So sometimes there are roots trapped in there, algae trapped in the strainer, so you just clean it. Okay? Let's replace back our raft. Then from the pump, it now goes to our gravel bed over here. So this is the gravel bed. So the flow is diverted here. We have an inlet here. Part of the flow is diverted to the uh, fish tank over there at the bottom. Okay. So that's the valve for the fish tank. So the gravel bed has a bell siphon. So we are now at the start of the drain cycle. So let's lift the... Uh, there's now a vacuum created. Yeah. I can, I can feel the vacuum in the bell. So that, let's lift this up so you can see the bell. There's a strong vacuum. Yeah, it's very heavy to lift because of the vacuum. We're now at the start of the drain cycle. Let me see if I can lift this up. Okay, as you can see, that's a very strong vacuum. So that's the standpipe. It controls the level of the water in our gravel bed. We have a very simple bell siphon has a sealed uh, bell over here and uh, an air hole at the bottom to cut the siphon so the bell siphon aids in the flooding and draining of our gravel bed so let's now place back our bell and let's see if the siphon will be triggered so let's go to the bottom of our our pipe let's see if we trigger this the siphon to start okay so let's wait for the siphon to start because I cut off the siphon a while ago. Okay. Now it's starting. Let's look at the standby. Let's look at the standby. Let's look at the standby. It's about to reach the level of the standby. The water is about to reach the topmost part. So when it reaches the topmost part, Water, we, water will be forced to go in and because you have a bell, a sealed bell, you create a vacuum and you start a suction. So let's wait for it to, to reach that level and then I'll replace or place the bell on the siphon. So if you don't have a bell, the uh, water level will remain at the same level of our standpipe. So it's now ready to overflow our uh, standpipe. So there, it's starting to overflow. Let's wait for it. There, so it's now starting to overflow. Water has also reached the surface of our gravel. And because there's no bell, uh, the siphon has not initiated. Now we'll try to place our bell, okay? Let's place it slowly. Now, because there's a bell, a vacuum is created. You can hear that. I don't know if you can hear And then there's a start of the suction over here. So suction has started. Let's look at the level. Let, look at the gravel. The level is now slowly going down. So it means that our bell siphon is working. See how the water level dropped? Let's look at the bottom. The water is now starting to exit this uh, part or this part of our siphon. So let's look at the view over here. 
a view from the other side of our siphon and look at the, how the, the siphon is starting. So let's zoom in on the, this part. This is where, this is the exit of our bell siphon. See how, how the siphon started. If I remove this. So that's the siphon starting. Let's place it back. Then from the siphon, exit to the fish tank, and then from the fish tank, the cycle then continues, okay? So, let's look at the reason why they relocated this system. So let's go uh, to the first floor, okay? A view from the first floor. So they're now uh, building another aquaponic system because the owner, like the growth of the first aquaponic system, she, she decided to add another system or add a 10 grow bed system here at the first floor of the uh, their property so this is a different kind of system because this system is decoupled so how is it decoupled so we have a fish tank system over there and uh, so that's the fish tank and then that's the filter and it has its own sump and then we have a growing component over here we have four gravel beds here and four gravel beds here and then the gravel beds has its own sump also this two so the system is decoupled the rust component is independent of the hydroponic component uh, over here so in the future we'll do a walkthrough of the, that system so we have a uh, made team there constructing say hi made team uh, made team say hi to the camera hi. Yeah, so we have uh, two of our team members uh, constructing the system down there okay so to recap our system uh, again, we have uh, the, the old system here, a month and a, uh, a year and a old, a year and a half old system. And then we have the decoupled system uh, at the first floor. So the old system has the old design of fish tank. That's the rectangular design. We also have the old uh, linear flow uh, seven stage filter. And then we have floating rafts, five of them. And then we have a gravel bed over here. So if you want to learn more about aquaponics, again, we have a Facebook page, Modular Aquaponics. We also have a YouTube channel, Madodel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell if you want to get updated on the future build of the decoupled system downstairs. So again, thank you for watching.